Good morning, everyone. Someone said in my comments, make an Easter dress, please. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna make an Easter dress in one day, but we're gonna start the day with some sugar because <laughs> I'm still asleep and I'm acting like it's eight in the morning and it's 11. I have several ideas, but I think I'm gonna go with the most difficult one because otherwise it wouldn't be me. I've been wanting to make a milkmaid dress for such a long time that today is the day we're gonna do it. We're gonna divide it in two parts. The top, it's gonna be like a corset and it's gonna have a V waistline. And then for the skirt, I'm not completely sure because I don't have a lot of fabric and we're gonna see how that looks like. Let's focus on the corset now. As for the fabric, I bought it yesterday and we have it here. What does Easter tell you? It tells me flowers, rabbits, pink colors. So what do we get? Pink fabric with flowers. I bought two meters, I think. One, two, I think two and a half. Oh, look at me thinking ahead. Bought some lovely thread. I bought the longest zipper in the world. And finally, I bought some boning. Now the corset is going to be tight around the body. It's gonna have some things here at the back to tie it properly. I've made the drawing, the only problem is that my pattern here is until the waistline and if I want to have that corset V shape, I need the torso block pattern. It also takes into account the curve to my hips. I don't have that pattern yet. I only have one day. Should I just draw the torso foundation? It's what probably I'm going to do. Or should I just stick with this one? Let me think about it while I draw the torso foundation. We have both torso patterns. The front one is fine. The back one, I do not like how I made it but because the book is confusing. I don't have time for prototyping, but we're gonna prototype. <laughs> well, no, first I have to draw the corset pattern. But after that, we're gonna prototype and we're gonna be fast, 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 fast. It's almost five. <laughs> So the day is almost over, but I finally have the pattern. Prototype is done. Let's try it and see. Okay, don't freak out. There's a lot of things to correct. Not the best finishes, let's say. It's not tight at all. Okay, we've corrected something. We have these darts. They have to be bigger. And what I'm going to do in another prototype real fast, it's... 5.30. Yeah, I know I said I would do it in one day. Maybe it's gonna take me two days, but I just don't want to destroy fabric. I don't want it to go to waste. I pay for it and it's fabric and I don't like waste. We're gonna do this the right way. I've never done this before, so this is really exciting. Look. I put the pattern on the mannequin and then I looked at how much ease I have to take in. The only problem is that this mannequin is uh, one or two centimeters smaller than me. And the hip is 99 and I'm 102. So what I'm gonna do is take a little bit this dart in, move this side seam. Prototype number two is absolutely perfect. The back is a bit short, if you see. I'll do that and I'll cut straight into the fabric. You can see that on the mannequin, it fits perfectly. It's almost the end of the day and I still don't have anything. I attached all the pieces together and now I just have to sew them. And then like I showed you in the drawing that I did, I'm going to have some straps here to pull, you know, to make it. Just cut the cord, 0.5 centimeter cord, which is a one quarter of an inch more or less. I cut it into pieces and I made it into these loops. Okay, look at this. Oh, it looks so good. It's gonna be a bit tight, but it's okay. It's the next day, so let's go, let's do this. The boning is in, it fits perfectly. And now the next thing is to cut this. This is how it goes. You see this dart here. That means that all the colors are going to be at the top and I would like it to be also colored below. So it's a bit the same on the top and on the bottom. So what I'm going to do is redraw this pattern and transfer all the gathers around. So I'm going to cut through this line, separate this 
and then separated all the same amount. It's the same day, but I changed clothes to be more comfortable. Here we have the top part of the dress. It's big on the mannequin because remember that I'm a little bit bigger than the mannequin. Next step is to do exactly the same without boning for the inside. I swear I'm the queen of procrastination. Still working on the lining for my body. To create the gathers on the cup, I just run two basting stitches here, which means that the length of the stitch is the biggest, so four. And I just have to put it there onto my body and pull this. And the more I pull, the more gathers I'm going to be creating. Both cups, and after that we can finally finish the body, because I'm done. structure and the lining are done so now let's attach them together and make this beautiful dress the structure and the lining have been attached and now it's pretty on both sides and i just have to make the channel here to add a strap to tie the front so now we can move on to the skirt Okay, so I'm in between options. On one side, I think that because I have this V shape, it's going to be easier if I have a gathered skirt and it's just a rectangle. But at the same time, I, I don't love gathers. I just don't love how they look on me. I don't know why. So what I could do is maybe a circle skirt, measure all around my corset area and use that as the radius of my circle skirt and just use that. I wonder, is it going to look weird? Is the bottom of the skirt also going to look like that and then I'll have to fix it? Or I don't know what to do. I've never done a gather skirt, so maybe I should do that. I'll ask Owen to see what he prefers. Owen has spoken and he has chosen. We're gonna go with him and if it looks weird and ugly, we're gonna blame him either. One that is without gathers, so it will fall like this. Or the second one is that I have all these gathers here. Well, not that much, like 1.5 ratio. And that's the one that Owen chose, which is the one that takes more time to do, but less amount of intelligence. This is what I was afraid of. So because I have this V shape, see, if you put the fabric just following the silhouette, it creates this saggy area have his baby pouch i'm gonna do a bit of research i don't know why if it's a one day challenge i don't say okay i'm going to buy this pattern and i'm going to create this dress no i have to come up with a whole new pattern i have to make two prototypes i have to do stuff that i've never done in my life and make myself crazy but we love it <laughs> okay everything's fine <laughs> Don't mind Owen here. Uh. Okay, I figured it out. It was easier than I thought. Instead of having a rectangle, you just have <laughs> the shape of the corset, you know? So you're gonna have like this, and then like this, and like this. I'm gonna go for a walk, <laughs> procrastinate a little bit more, and we'll continue later. Day three of my one day challenge, and we have a skirt. So this is gonna be the shape of the skirt. It's not done yet, I need to add the zipper here, but looking nice, yeah? I need to add some straps here to make it go up, otherwise it makes my boobs like... I really want to finish this today, but making thin straps without a loop turner... Thin straps? Uh, thin, thin straps. Okay. Thin straps. It just doesn't want to turn. Turning this part is the most difficult part. Once that's done, most of the job is done. Look at this. Look at the waist. <laughs> I made a mistake because at the back, I interfaced all the structure except for the back. Now it falls a little bit. I love wearing dresses. I don't know why I don't do it more often. The invisible zipper, I could have done a better job. Okay, so I'm done with the dress. I went outside. <laughs> Let's change from this into this and the insides are as nice as 
the outside. That's the dress, I'm gonna show you in just a second. But first, let me clean up the house. There was an earthquake in here. Let me clean up the house and I'll show you the dress. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more, follow me on Instagram. My handle is underscore Nuriamo. And I'll see you in the next one. Happy Easter!